Alright, so what's up guys, Airball here and back with another video. And today I'm showing you the three best center builds for the wreck in 2K22. Um so you're not gonna be seeing like any ordinary builds here like the like the one I made last video, the best center build. That is the best center build. But trust me, like do not I mean you can use that in wreck, but trust me, you will get dogged out by a shy town ball of 75 who has some weird head scan and themselves their profile picture and they're gonna back you down they're gonna push you out of bounds pump fake 10 times and yeah it's just not gonna be good so these won't be like ordinary center builds um but uh yeah these are still like really good for wreck obviously these aren't really good for park but it is good for like pro m 5v5 pro m uh so yeah make sure to stay tuned make sure to like, comment and subscribe because we're on the road to 2000 subs and yes yeah, you're right into the video um so the first the first uh, build that I'm gonna show you here is basically just the 73, you know, just max weight uh, sort of center. So you want to do, um, you want to go with the um, with the blue and red pie trust. This one right here. Then you want to go with the most speed, or not the most speed, the speed and strength. Uh, now the finishing. Max out the close shot. Max out the driving dunk. Max out the standing dunk, and then max out the post hook. You get 25 finishing badges. Now the shooting. Max out the free throw, it's all you need to do, because if you're playing wreck and prime, obviously you're going to need that free throw. If, like, obviously if you get fouled a lot, you're going to get put to the line, you're not going to want to miss free throws. Um, so, yeah, um, 10 playmaking here, so max out the pass accuracy, max out the post control. Now the defense, max out the interior, max out the block, and then max out uh, the rebounding. And then put your steal to a 46. And then, yes, put your ball hand with 32. So you'll get uh, 11 playmaking. So 25, 1, uh, 11, and 22. So yeah, really, really good uh, badge spread here. Total of 59 badges. Not bad, though. Um, now the body shape, uh, you obviously want to go burly. Like, that's not even a question. 7 foot 3 for the height. Now, I know what you're saying, that this build is going to be slow. But again, this is what most centers use in wreck. You know what I'm saying? Or at least, like, most of the old heads use. Like, I, I sometimes ran into, like, 6'10", uh, glass finishers and stuff, and I'm able to bully them from my post score. Uh, so, yeah, 7'3", it is a good height, but again, just keep in mind, you will be a little bit slow. 281 pounds is what I'm going to go with right here, uh, just to get that 92 interior defense, and so your speed doesn't fall under 40. Um, so, I feel like this is, like, the perfect weight right here. And then the wingspan, you do want to go max wingspan, no doubt about it. But 99 with gym rat, you will have 48 speed, 44 acceleration. Which, like I said before, is not the best. But again, you are 7'3", 290. This is basically a post score, but with defense and rec, you know what I mean? Uh, so obviously, you'll be able to get the uh, standing contacts, big man contacts. Uh, the defense will obviously be really good. Uh, 96 interior, 98 block, 95 on the rebounding. This is sort of like a shack build, almost. Um, but yeah, takeover. I would go post score and take. You could go glass or rim. But for me, post score and take is the best uh, for this build. And yeah, this is the glass cleaning lockdown. She has the Kemi Matumbo, uh, Rudy Gobert, and Mitchell Robinson. Um, now, because this video will probably be like 20 minutes long, or this video will be 20 minutes long if I show you guys the badges for every build. So I'm just going to move on to the next one. Uh, this is going to be the second build right here. Okay, so moving on to the second build. This is sort of like a shooting big man. Uh, it's almost like a popper, basically. So you want to do, you want to go with the uh, center for the position. The center, um, and the pie chart that you want to go with. You want to go with the one, the second to last pie chart. So this one right here, 75 three ball, 90 rebounding. So yeah, go with that. And then go with the pure speed. Don't go with the speed and strength. Because this pie chart makes this build already kind of slow. So you need the most speed you can get. Uh, so the finishing, max out the close shot. Um, max out the standing dunk. And then max out that post hook. So you get 10 finishing. Uh, and then the shooting, max out the mid range, max out the three, max out the free throw. Uh, and then put your post fade to 55 so you get 18 shooting. Now, playmaking, all you want to do is just max out your pass accuracy. You're not going to need like ball handle or post control because let's be real, you're not going to be posting up with a pop or like a shooting big, you know what I mean? But you do need that pass accuracy because if you grab a rebound and throw it all the way down court, uh, then yeah, obviously you're going to need like a pretty good pass accuracy with break start and all that stuff. So yeah. Uh, the defense, obviously, max the interior, the block, and the rebounding right here. They put the uh, steal to a 59. This is the all the attributes. You get 22 defensive badges. So 10, 18, 1, and 22. Uh, pretty good bad spread here with the defense and the shooting and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think there's a total of 51 badges. So yeah, 51 badges. Not bad at all. Uh, body shape, again, I'm going to go burly. Now the height, you do want to go down to 6'11 for the height. Okay, 6'11. 
and now the weight the weight you want to go all the way down on the weight um to be honest i think this honestly is the best weight 205 that means a 99 with gym rag you will have an 82 speed which is not that bad at all especially for a popper sort of like a taller popper and obviously you want to go with the max wingspan to get the most defense possible uh but yeah this is the build right here um a 99 gym rag like i said 82 speed that's gonna be good um you'll actually be able to unlock the big man contact dunks because of your um your standing dunk will be a 90, a 99 overall. If you actually grind it to 99, you'll have a 90 standing dunk. So, yeah, and then you'll have uh, 76 post hook 2 and the shooting, um, 79 mid range, uh, 77 3 ball. Uh, so, yeah, that, the shooting will not be bad at all, especially if you have uh, Hall of Fame shooting. Uh, the playmaking, 70 pass accuracy. Again, it's not terrible. Now, the defense, 77 interior, that is not bad. Um, 67 steal, 80, or 98 block. 88 offensive rebound and a 96 defensive rebound so you'll be getting a lot of rebounds uh with this build you obviously you'll be able to shoot too glass clean take is what i would pick i wouldn't pick rim or sharp if you need sharp take and shoot on this build um like i've said before in many other videos just don't make it uh you don't really need sharp shooting take on a big um yeah that's the second build and this third one right here this is going to be the best center build for a wreck in nba 2k22 so make sure okay so this is the final build this is the best center build for rec and then be to get 22 so you want to do you want to go center for the position and the pie chart you do want to go with the pure red pie chart so pure red uh right here uh now the physicals you want to go with the pure speed for your pie chart because you do need the most speed possible especially if you're on a taller center uh but the finishing you want to max out the close shot max out the standing dunk max out the driving dunk um then put your post hook to get uh 14 finishing just put that at 55 uh now the shooting um max out your free throw uh your playmaking you want to upgrade your pass accuracy and yeah it's basically it for the playmaking and then the defense you just want to uh, max all this out and you should have some attributes left over uh yeah so i guess i'll just put it on the post hook and put the free throw down at 72 and you should be able to have 15 finishing right here so 44 driving layup and then max out the other finishing and yeah so 15 finishing one shooting one playmaking 30 defense not the best bad spread but you still have 30 defensive badges obviously you need the most defense possible and the rec on our center so yeah uh burly for the body shape 611 you want to go with the height i mean you could go seven foot uh but for me i feel like the speed is way better at 611 as you can see 76 um, you do get 78 at 6'11". Um, so I'll go 6'11". 207 pounds for the weight here because if you go any lower then your interior defense goes down to 79. So what I would do, I would go 207 pounds, uh, 78 speed, 76 accelerations, obviously still good. And also a 99 overall with Jim Rat, you'll be able to get that 86 speed. Um, so yeah, and 84 acceleration with an 81 vertical too, which is not bad at all. But yeah, this is the build right here. So you have a, um, a 99, you have an 89 close shot. You have an 83 driving dunks. So you're literally one attribute away from unlocking um, the pro contact dunks. Now, if the um, the plus one driving dunk sleeve actually worked, I mean, it does work, but it doesn't give you the animations. Uh, so like, if you if you put on the, um, the sleeve, the driving dunk sleeve, then you will have 84 driving dunk, but you wouldn't be able to actually get the animations for it. So yeah, that's that's kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie, but still, you, you'll still have the big man contact dunks. Obviously, 95 standing dunk that will be 99. So yeah, um, the free throw that will be 77. So not bad at all for center. 69 pass accuracy again, not terrible. Uh, 84 interior, 78 perimeter, 78 lateral, 78 steal. So really good, just all around defense, especially for a 6'11 center. Then obviously the block and the rebounding will be 99. Um, so yeah, this is just a really, you know, all around good build. Now the takeover, uh, takeover, I'll go glass cleaning take, uh, but you could go rim take if you want to. Like, it's honestly not bad if you pick rim take. But yeah, this is the glass cleaning lockdown. She's the Ben Wallace, uh, Rudy Gobert, and Mitchell Robinson. And yeah, I guess I'm just going to do my outro here. I uh, appreciate you for watching the video if you actually have, because it's probably like a 10, 12 minute video, something like that. Um, but yeah, on the road to 2,000 subs, and this is Airball Peace.